What's up, YouTube? It's BP Cast back in with another video and another reaction. And in today's video is an incident that happened with this Buffalo cop who got fired for dropping an f bomb and macing this lady in this uh, body cam footage. And basically, the the police or cop union um, are trying to appeal to get his job back. And I'm gonna watch it, get my reaction. Let me know what y'all think about it. Y'all think he should get his job back? And let's get into the video. Also, this video, I saw somebody said that I don't be putting the dates on here and that's that's that that's my fault i don't do that on purpose i just ain't even noticed but y'all y'all really do care about details and i gotta you know pay attention to that so let's get into the video i see it i see it i'm just making sure man cross traffic good Walk down here. Walk down here. Walk down here right now. Walk down here right now. First of all, there's supposed to be someone in the house with a gun. You're gonna walk down the stairs. Ain't nobody coming. Shut the fuck up. Walk down the fucking stairs. Period. What's wrong? What's wrong? Fuck out of here. Okay, there's someone in the house with a gun. No, it's not. Okay, then get in the car. Get in the car. You told. You told the kids. Why are you spit on me? Get in the car. Get in the car. You a whole man. Get in the car. Get in the car. You're gonna get sprayed. 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 Go in the car. Get in the car. You're gonna get sprayed. He just one more time. Get in the car. You're gonna get sprayed. You're gonna get sprayed. You're gonna get sprayed. It's actually wild how they just pulled up and just told her get in the car. You won't get sprayed. Like bro, like he pulled up aggressively as hell, bro. And like just yeah, they they talk about they want to give his job back. Hell no. Get in the car. 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 Get in the car.
The officer was fired for excessive force and making false statements. Joining me here in studio is investigative reporter Bruce Rushton, who was following this story closely. What are the full details of what happened to that officer and that woman in that video we just saw? Well, what happened was the police were called to an address and the initial call indicated there was a gun present, which expedites the response, and understandably so. While the police, while Officer Murphy was en route, uh, the dispatcher informed police that in fact there was no gun present and uh, so the officer got out of the car and by all appearances jumped to the conclusion that the woman who he pepper sprayed had called the police uh, and falsely said that there was a gun present and he did not give her an opportunity to tell her side of the story. The video pretty much speaks for itself. He grabs her by the arm, pulls her off the porch, drops a number of F-bombs uh, during his encounter. And that's another thing that I was saying, too, that, bro, he pulled up and didn't even give her time. He just pulled up and was straight on BS, like, immediately. And just, like, really just, she didn't even do that wrong. She was just trying to explain her story. And this dude just wasn't having it because what cops is like, they don't care to hear your story, but they, wanna, they want you to hear theirs. When she tries to talk to him, he sprays her not once but twice with pepper spray. I think what makes it even uh, more uh, concerning is that a number of police officers are already present when this officer arrives and the scene is calm. There is no issue until Officer Murphy arrives. And this is noted in the arbitrator's decision that everything seemed to be going okay until Murphy made it not okay. Your reporting also indicated that he earned, what, over $275,000 while this case was, while he was being disciplined. How does that play into this decision, you think? I'm not sure that it plays into the decision. Uh, that's just standard procedure when police face discipline. The first 30 days of suspension are unpaid. And if it's not figured out within 30 days, then they go back on the payroll, typically suspended. They don't come to work until the matter is adjudicated. And so this is fairly standard procedure. This incident took place in 2020, and so the spring of 2020. And so it was adjudicated by the arbitrator in October of 2023. So that's quite a long period of time to be waiting for a decision to come. That's freaking wild, bro. So you telling me this dude was chilling <laughs> at home, not working, getting paid. Bro, that's fucking wild, man. I'll tell you, bro, being a cop is like, man, that's like, I'm not saying it's an easy job, but man, for the Nick, for the people, <laughs> for the ones that be violating the rights and then they go on leave and still get paid, but like for any regular person that they do something wrong at work, they get fired immediately. It's freaking wild. Down. From what you learn, is this the first time in a long time that the police union has really done something like this when it comes to this type of decision? I was unable to find any instance of either the police union or the city seeking to overturn an arbitrator's termination decision. And I use the online court records from Erie County Supreme Court where these decisions are usually uh, appealed if there's going to be an appeal. Uh, the court docket does indicate instances in which uh, the union uh, or even the city in at least one instance has appealed uh, a, a matter of grievance, something less severe than termination. Two quick questions. Yeah. You didn't hear from the PBA? No, uh, I did have a brief uh, email exchange with a lawyer from the PBA uh, and he declined comment on any substantive uh, uh, in any substantive way. And what about this woman that we saw in the video? I guess we can't ignore her. Did no. she ever file any type of lawsuit or anything? She did not file a lawsuit and I was unable to find her. I had a telephone number for her that has been disconnected. That's wild, bro. She didn't file a lawsuit. Like, man, she could have really... That's a lot of things. A lot of people don't know that they can, like, really sue the cops and, like, really get money for this, for getting their rights violated, especially when you ain't did nothing wrong. But a lot of people don't know that. They just, they just like, deal with it in court and just go about their day, which is how usually most cops do get away with a lot of things, actually, because some people just generally just don't know. It's not that they're dumb or they're stupid. They just don't know the law. Like, they ain't know that you could do that. So I'm pretty sure that was the case with this lady. She didn't know, and it was just one of the situations. She just wanted to get get out of jail and just go back home. So she didn't really think about, like, a lawsuit or anything like that. Connected. I went to her last known address, and she no longer lives there. I would very much like to talk to her to get her side of the story and see what she would have said to the police officer had she been afforded an opportunity to do so. Interesting case, and the body cam footage says so much. Bruce, from our partners at Investigative Post, thank you so much to do so interesting and i don't know bro it's really kind of wild that the police union really kind of is fighting to get his job back 
when I really feel like, man, he shouldn't get his job back at all, especially when the lady wasn't doing anything. She would just mind her business. Mind you, this happened in 2022. I mean, 2020 also. So it was a very long time for him just to be on leave. I don't know. That really should get investigated, too. So, But let me know what y'all think about the comment section, what you think about the officer's action. But really, what do y'all think about the police union? I didn't even know there was a police union. I ain't even going to front. I didn't know, man. But that I didn't – like, it's weird that they're even fighting to get this dude job back, you know? And I'm kind of wondering, like, what else the police union – you know what I'm saying? Like, who else jobs they try to fight back to to get, you know, as far as get their job back that did something wrong. But – Y'all let me know what y'all think about in the comment section about this, and y'all have a wonderful day.